in the Ban Shikai, Fujibayashi states, when you study the meaning of these passages, you should be aware that the skills of the shinobi should not be used for your own personal desires or for a lord who does not have a moral code. He goes on to say, if a shinobi steals for his own interest, which is against common morals, how can the gods and Buddhas protect him? This is very similar to another type of a kudin lesson that we get in Kotoru Kopojutsu. And then he does go on to say, um, if, you're, if you're doing it for your own personal desires, how would the gods and Buddhas protect you? Back then, the ninja really felt like the art was divine. It was almost like, um, I don't want to say godlike, but they were protected by the gods, the warrior gods. And if you did it for a righteous way, in the right way, or the way, or lots of different ways to describe that, when they did various type of incantations, or the kuji, or whatever type of spells, or protection spells, and all sorts of stuff, their belief, and again, I'm not pushing a belief, you guys can believe what you want, their belief was they had divine protection. But, what it, but the lesson here is, if you do it for your own personal reason, if you do it for personal desire, you will not be protected by the gods. If you do it for um, a lord that doesn't have a moral code, you will not be protected. It's not going to work, right? So you're going to fail. And in that sense, that's another thing we'll go on to talk about. There's a big difference between a ninja and a thief. A thief is going to sneak in and steal shit for their own personal desire and then go sell it at a pawn shop. Here, you guys are training in the arts of stealth and all this kind of stuff and infiltration, but we're doing it for the sake of preserving history, for the, the, the traditions that we have, this organization, and helping people understand what we do and why we do it. So there's a little bit of like, you know, standing up for the cause here a little bit. But there's also like, you want to protect yourself. You don't want to protect yourself because you think you're better than everyone else. You need to protect yourself because you also got to protect the ones you love. And you protect the ones who can't fight for themselves. So those reasons of training, it needs to be important. And I don't know why this is, but we do live in a world where we're drowned, what is it? We're um, drowning in knowledge and starving for wisdom, right? And everyone gets on the internet and they read all this shit. But you guys and the ones who train in the warrior arts knows there's a big difference between knowledge and wisdom. You know, and doing things for the right way, doing things for the right cause and for the right reason. And a lot of times you just look at the news, look at our politicians, all of them. I'm not, this isn't one side or the other. And everyone's being hateful and they're mudslinging and you see all the, the violence that we see on the streets and people hating people for another reason and they're not doing it. They're, they're doing all this stuff for the wrong reason. They're not doing it out of love and self-protection and things of that nature. But we are training to do things for the right reason, not to perpetuate the hate and violence that we see all over the news. Okay, well just as we talked earlier, ninjas were warriors, so we've been working on different techniques, different types of weapons in between each one of these little talks, right? So in this section we are going to be working on Hanbo Jutsu. So, grab a Hanbo, you guys. Come here, Mr. Debray, I'm going to use you first. Um, he's going to come up and he's going to take his right hand in this technique, and he's going to grab my throat, right? And his other hand's going to be up like he's ready to hit me or something, and maybe steal my purse or take something that I have kind of thing, right? He comes up and he grabs, and I'm, I'm like this, this hand coming up because I don't know what that's doing. Here, I'm going to swing it through and you're going to strike. Bang! Put that on the throat. That could even be a strike too. So when you strike, strike, take him down. Up, come right into the ribs or any vital area, right? You guys see the technique? All right, good. Let's do it one more time. Just kind of a little bit more fluent. You know what I mean? And then you guys can play the technique. So. Here we go, we're here, and he grabs. Boom, boom, take him down. Boom, right, and then you're coming back out. 